Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board-certified psychiatrist. Okay, occasionally I like to uh, talk about my book, Forgive to Win, uh, and remind people that it's out there, it's available to help you uh, learn how to succeed. Okay, because basically uh, people think that forgiveness is something spiritual, you know, which it is, of course, but it's more than that. Okay, my contention is it's a lot more than that. My contention is that people don't get what they want. Uh, we tend to sabotage ourselves. We procrastinate. We resist. We don't do things we know that are in our best interests. And uh, why do we do this? Because of deeply embedded unconscious guilt, shame, and self-loathing. We don't think we're worthy or good enough, so our subconscious mind uh, creates a world that reflects that. And so it, it gets in our way. It's, it whispers in our ear not to do stuff. And it, it makes us impulsive and reckless so that we don't synergize with others, so that we sabotage our relationships and, and, uh, and we sabotage the law of attraction where people can actually uh, be brought into our life to help us. We have them come into our life to hurt us and con confound us. Okay, so the whole point is, uh, if you are doing this to yourself, if you are getting in your own way and you're not successful in your career or with finances or in relationships or with self-esteem and confidence, if you don't have a, the, the life that you want, most likely it's your fault. On some level, you are getting in your way. You're sabotaging yourself. How do you fix that? Okay, so if you're sabotaging yourself because uh, you basically have guilt, shame, and self-loathing, then the way that you uh, reverse that is to learn to love yourself to learn to forgive yourself, okay? But you're not gonna learn to love and forgive yourself by sitting in a room and meditating or chanting. The way to, uh, to love yourself and forgive yourself is to love and forgive others, to be generous to others, to uh, do uh, acts of kindness and esteemable acts towards others, to be accepting, loving, and forgiving of others, okay? Because the more you do this, the more you send the message to your subconscious mind that you're good enough, that you're worthy. And then the subconscious mind starts to work with you, uh, with your conscious desires for success rather than against you. And so now uh, you stop. It stop, wh stops whispering all, all, to do all the stupid stuff. It stops uh, whispering, uh, don't bother. It's not, it's not worth it. You're not good enough. Now it tells you you are good enough. You are worthy. You can do this. And it engages the law of attraction. So people who uh, want to support and, and, and encourage and nurture your hopes and dreams, they're going to show up in your life. Opportunities are going to show up in your life because now uh, you know your subconscious mind is saying you're good enough. You're worthy. Your conscious mind is saying you're good enough. You're worthy. Uh, things start to happen. You feel feel better, you're happier, you know, you're, you're more self-confident, your relationships in all, in all realms are better. So that's the deal. Forgive to win. The book Forgive to Win, it teaches you how to do this because most people don't want to forgive. They do, but they don't. Most people want to hang on to their resentments. They want to hang on to their grievances. Their ego says don't forgive. Their ego says you'll just get hurt again. Your ego says they don't deserve forgiveness. They're evil. They're bad. They're no good. Okay? All of those messages are wrong. Okay, all those messages are just keeping you in an emotional prison. Uh, okay, it's not uh, it's not helping you. Okay, so you got to learn how to overcome your own resistance to forgive, and that's what the book uh, helps you to do. Okay, it's forgive to win. Uh, basically, you, you don't need the book if you just practice forgiveness, acceptance, love, and generosity in all aspects of your life. Uh, but that's easier said than done. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.